Hey guys, Poison here and today I'm going to talk about the fossil farmer that I used to farm in the mines in the low depths and make some extra currency, a couple hundred C per hour, that's just a rough estimate, but I think you can do like three, four hundred easily. So what you want to do is get a speedy boy, uh, one a character that's as fast as possible and farm for uh, frozen hollows magma fissures and fungal caverns in fungal caverns what you're looking for is dense fossils and uh, mm, perfect fossils in frozen hollow you go for shudderings and uh, pristine and prismatic and in the magma fissures you go for the enchanted ones uh, pristine and prismatic pristine and prismatic sells roughly for 5c each the dance sells for uh, 10 to 12, depending on how much stock you have. The shuddering sells for 7, and uh, the perfect one sells for 4, 5, 6, depending on your stock. Now let's get into some gameplay real fast to show you how is the how the build looks like when I'm running with it, and then I'm going to go through the gear and uh, ink setup and stuff like that. This is what you do, stack up your BV and you run. You generally look for uh, breakable walls. Here we won't have one because the zone is too short. But so you, you get the idea. I think I think you've seen foster farmers before. I think we're gonna have one here, so I'm gonna show you that one. Let's go there. You saw we can kill the monsters. The speed is good. Just look into the dark. You have no issues. See? When you break that up, you go in, you take your fossils, and I just did like what? These are like, if you have a good stock, if they sell for like five, we just made 25C, just like that. You can go in the darkness, you can find dynamite caches, or you can find dance fossils even here, perfect fossils. The dynamite, dynamite caches and the flare thingies are really really good. Oh shit. They drop down a fossil, uh, drop down a flare when you feel like you're dying. Also you get these resonator caches also. I forgot to mention those. Or resonator stacks, whatever they are boxes <laughs> those those are those are good too the two socketed chaotic ones sell for like 4c and uh our chemicals are probably selling for like 2-3 uh the one socketed i've been selling for 1.5 to 2c the uh, chaotic ones and the other ones are selling for like 0, 5 to 1 C as well. So yeah, and as you can see, you can kill the monsters, you can go from uh, point A to point B easily. You have 555 movement speed, which can be increased. I think you can increase it to like 700, I think, if you mean max it. I don't know exactly, but I don't want more because I can barely control it. Yeah, that's it. That's the gameplay part. I'm gonna show you the skill tree. Obviously, we are pathfinders for the crazy flask uh, returns. You always have flask, and you can just spam them with no no problems. Uh, I, I took all the movement speed that there was. Uh, I needed this node to get. Uh, I think ink duration. Where is it? Added fire, but but ink duration that's the important one, that's why we needed that strength node. Other than that, we traveled only for movement speed for the most part, and uh, some life here and there. Did we take any life? Not really, <laughs> actually, not really too much life. We have life on jewels here and there, yeah. It's on my 2.5, but it's not necessary. You could see that I didn't take really too much damage. The only moment I took damage was uh, when I was taking the darkness and I didn't pay attention. 
So that's that. Other than that, you are looking for uh, all the uh, skill effect durations because you want your BV to be up most of the time. I will show you in a second why. And movement speed and some resistances, obviously. We took Druidic right, Primal Spirit for some flasks. And uh, yeah, I will leave the... I will leave the skill tree in a POB in the description anyway. That's why I don't really talk too much about the skill tree. You can look it up for yourself. The important parts are these transcendent spirit jewels that you put him this in these spots where you have a lot of dexterity in the radius. It will uh, give you movement speed. Same here and same here. Other than that, the other jewels are you are looking for uh, life and movement speed. You have an unnatural instinct here. If you don't have the money for it in the beginning, you can leave it out. Uh, put in another jewel, and when you make the monies, you just uh, buy yourself an unnatural instinct. Uh, also, what you're looking for is a little bit of life regen on the jewels. Life, life regen, and uh, movement speed, yeah? In terms of the Watcher's Eye, I opted for... Both options, you have phasing while affected by haste and 14% increased movement speed while affected by grace. You can see we run both of them. I mean, if you don't have the money to buy this, this is around 9 exalts when I bought it myself. Go for the phase while affected by haste. I know that you drop some movement speed this way, but the perma phasing is really, really, really good in the mines. You will see it. If you have the possibility to have both of the washer's eyes separately, you can check it for yourself and you will see that the perma phasing is just much, much better than the extra movement speed. You can notice that I'm level 100. <laughs> so if you have a lower level character, you can take out some uh, smaller movement speed nodes like these here. Then you save four points and you... you all of a sudden you only need like 94 you can drop maybe a jewel socket or something and it's you're good to go so that's that then character wise we are going with uh, seven league steps with movement speed enchantment the links in this are enlightened for grace and haste to have some mana to cast the blade vortex the belt is the wretch this one can, could have uh, movement speed corruption, but I couldn't find one. But uh, the rest is for um, the movement speed during any flask effect and 60% uh, uh, increased flask effect duration. That's pretty good. Gloves, creation, pincers. Uh, we opted for this because of the life region. Yeah, You can opt for any gloves that have movement speed. I think there are some, but... I value the life regen more. I don't really need more movement speed. In terms of the rings, I went for life resist to sort of cap myself. And the most important one is that you can only get on shaper rings is life gain for each enemy hit by your spells. Since Blade Vortex is a spell, uh, it's really important uh, for the life life gain. And you're sitting in the dark, you have your BV up, as you say, as I said, you take the, all the skill effect durations, it's all, always up, you rarely have to recast it, and uh, you just gain 30, 30 life all the time. It's really, really good. I would recommend to take these rings. In terms of chest piece, obviously, the uh, Queen of the Forest for the movement speed. I happen to corrupt this one myself in a temple, so I am using it. The links are Blade Vortex, Fist to Lightning, Added Fire, Control Destruction, Elemental Focus, and Added Cold. There's probably a better setup for more damage, but I don't need it. If you have a better setup for more damage and uh, you feel like you need it, go ahead, take it. In terms of weapons, we have a Lure. Increase 15% movement speed while phasing. This is another reason why it's really good to have the Watcher's Eye. Not only that you can go through the monsters easily, you have the permanent 30% movement speed. In terms of the amulet, we went for a reward with uh, movement speed uh, corruption. 
You can go for a normal Karoi if you don't have the one extra exalt that's going to run you like 2-3C. When you have the money, you upgrade. And uh, the last one is Devoto's Devotion for the movement speed. And enchant wise, we took the Blade Vortex duration. As I said it before, the more duration you have on your Blade Vortex, the better, because you don't have to sit in one place and recast it all the time. And it's gonna say it's gonna save you in the darkness when there are a lot of monsters around you. You just wanna stop for a second and loot or whatever. It's really really good. The links here are efficacy. Increased duration, phase run, and enhanced support. Again, if you don't have the money, you can run out. You can take out the enhance. Uh, what this does is qualities up our phase run, which gives us more movement speed when you press it. And that's about it. I think I talk about everything. If you think I missed out something or if, if you have any questions, leave it down below in the comment section or you can uh, check me up on uh, Twitch. I stream every day, like 12 hours a day, roughly. I will give you a link in the description and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Peace.